Not bad. Come off that little bit of a wing dam across to there and he grabbed it. When I'm fishing wing dams with a crankbait, especially if they're smallmouth around, I want to be, I'm bringing that bait. For me, it's a, a quick retrieve. I'm using a six four to one gear ratio Fluger reel and a Fenwick six foot eight inch lunker stick crankbait rod, but go ahead and let him go. But it's a very, very fast retrieve. This water, it, it looks a little bit tinted, but it's actually pretty clean. And that Storm Arashi 5 that I'm throwing is kind of translucent. Even as natural looking as it is, I want to be reeling that bait quick just to not give those fish a second look at it. I want it coming through there, crashing, beating around in those rocks, and they got to make a quick decision to eat it or let it go. You can see where this wing dam's coming out kind of come from this direction. And you can actually see this one with the way the current is up on top of the water and the kind of the way the wind's doing. But the neat thing with that 360 is being able to see that perfect end on this side of that wing dam. And a lot of times those fish are gonna set up on those ends and they're, it's not as defined once you get out here as it is up on the base of it. But being able to, to see that is one thing, but to be able to sit here and fish it with that old Trex trolling motor where I can just pull up, spot lock myself and sit right here even though it's not real deep up here where the trolling motor is, even with 12 foot talons, they're not gonna hold me the way I wanna be sitting right here in this current. So I can hit my spot lock. It's gonna keep the nose right upstream all the time. And I can see it on that 360. So I can take an Arashi square five, square three, DT6, Rapala Skitter V, whatever I feel like those fish are feeding on. I can sit right here and run through the gamut. I can try every bait without having to fight the trolling motor without having to worry about it. I can get a fish on, I can land it, go back there to the back. That's the really cool thing with that old Trex trolling motor. It works just like a cable steer for Trex when you want it to. Then you have all those great features of the old Terra just right there at the touch of a button or at the touch of the foot pedal, so. There's one. That's a nice small one out there. Boy, he's got that thing ate good. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah. Look at that one. This got him by the back hook. Burning that Arashi through there, bouncing off those rocks. Catching a nice small mouth. That's a better picture. Yeah, you can see it right in there, the more defined part of that wing dam. See it on the 2D where I'm sitting on about on top of it now. And that slick water is where the rocks are. And the waves are where it falls off deeper. You want to throw, that one landed a little bit left, but you want to throw just upstream of that slick part because then your bait's going to come down the top of that wing dam, the majority of your retrieve. And those, the fish that are active are going to sit on the top of that. They don't like to sit behind it back here where that current slack. They want to sit kind of where that water pushes up onto it and where they're at the front of the buffet line. Yeah, that's a really good one. That's the cool thing about this place. You just don't know which species you're gonna catch. Hit my spot lock here. Yeah, that's a nice one. What I'm doing right there, I've got a football shaped tungsten weight that'll slide up and down the line. You know, the, the articulated jig head has become extremely popular the last few years and for good reason, because it catches fish. But one problem with it, sometimes those fish wanna jump and throw it. With that weight being able to slide up and down the line, you don't have to worry about that. You get that same cool movement out of that bait grinding along the bottom that fish like that like, but you don't have to worry about them coming off as much. And you can use any hook, any VMC hook you want to put on the back of that to match the bait you're fishing. What I've got there, that's a 3 three eighths ounce Rains tungsten sliding football weight, then a Berkeley Havoc rocket crawl, just a good, small, compact, crawdad looking bait watermelon candy. I always like to put a little bit of orange. Seems like every crawl out I've ever seen was orange, but the most important business end of it, it's a three alt VMC heavy duty wide gap hook. I like that heavy duty hook. I like to throw this on, on 15, 17 pound Berkeley tri-lane line, medium heavy Fenwick rod. So I want a lot of, a lot of meat and therefore I don't want a light wire hook. And that's why I like that sliding football head. I can put any hook on the back of it. That three alt heavy duty worm wide gap. This is a hook I like for that rocket crawl. For me, the main way I fish that rig, I guess you would call it, is kind of a, a steady retrieve. I'll, I'm gonna pause it occasionally to make sure it's on the bottom and just let that bait stop, but 
for me, I want to have that bait coming. It's it's more of a crankbait bite to me than it is a jig bite. It's it's a lot of a reaction, but just with a very natural looking bait. You know, it's a something that you can get those fish to react to. Where throwing a jig in there and just dragging it back slow may not be as effective. But with that, I like to throw it out, let it go to the bottom, and then immediately start kind of point the rod at it and start winding it back. And one thing with that, I'm gonna use a little bit bigger weight for the depth that I'm fishing than I normally would if I was just dragging a worm or dragging a jig. Like in water five feet deep, I'm gonna use a 3 8 ounce, which really is a little bit heavier than I would if I was wanting to just fish that bait slow and easy along the bottom. Seven or eight foot, I'm gonna use a half ounce. And then, you know, I'll, I'll step it up to a three quarter pretty quick after that. So it's because I want constant bottom contact but to be able to keep that bait moving along the bottom and by doing so.